بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so now in this section we'll start with a concept of redistribution here so first we'll see what is redistribution and then we'll see the different protocols where we can configure the redistribution and what are the scenarios now what is redistribution redistribution is a method of exchanging the routes between two or more different routing protocols so like if you take an example we do have a specific network and these are the set of routers company abc let's say so this uh, organization is already running ospf protocol or ehrp protocol some kind of protocol routing protocol and they are able to exchange the routes so they are connecting to each other and they are able to exchange the routes likewise let's say you got another organization xyz or maybe few other sites we do have these routers also they are running some kind of routing protocol let's say they are running ehrp protocol so maybe uh, you are running two different routing protocols in a common production scenario Uh, maybe you, the the scenario can be you have two different organizations let's say abc they merged into one organization and overnight changing the routing protocol from ospf to ehrp or or moving on to the common protocol is not possible now without changing the routing protocol you may want to make sure that the ospf routes should be exchanged or get converted into ehrp because by default the ospf routes ehrp will not understand and likewise the ehrp routes ospf will not understand so we need one router so we'll be configuring one kind of router here let's say autonomous system border router that's what we call it as the border router now this border router is going to run ospf on one of the interface like we have like we assume that we have an ospf running on this side which means all the ospf routes will be received by this router now likewise this router is going to run ehrp on the other side other side which is allowing the routes of ehrp to be received on this side so this transit router the middle router we call this as autonomous system border router this is more acting like a translator like you know the job of a translator what he will do so he is responsible for doing the translation he is going to convert means he's going to translate from one language to another language the same way in this case the autonomous system border router play the role of a translator which who is going to accept the routes or receive the routes from ehrp and translate them into ospf and then send it back to all the remaining ospf routers now likewise it's going to receive all the ospf routes coming from the left side and it's going to translate them back into the ehrp so we call this process of translation of routes from one protocol to another protocol called as redistribution so the redistribution is a concept where we are we may come across a scenario where you might have multiple routing protocols configured due to multiple different reasons you still can exchange the routes between them but the condition is you have to do the redistribution and this has to be done manually so it's not going to be automated process you have to make sure that the different protocols can exchange the routes with the help of redistribution so why do we need redistribution the there are multiple uh, possible uh, use cases like you might be migrating to a more advanced protocol like you can say like you got already an rip version 2 running on some of those routers and you started adding new sites and all the new sites because the rip protocol have a limitation of 15 hops as the hops are increasing or you don't want to use rip distance vector no more used so you might be migrating to an ospf protocol so you started setting up the new devices with an ospf but time being you also also want to make sure that these rip routes will be exchanged between them means you still want the rip protocol to be able to exchange the routes so that is one uh, possible use case the other use case is you might be running a different mismatch of devices like there are some uh, vendor specific which may support just uh, ospf or ehrp like cisco used to support only ehrp earlier 
and you have some non cisco devices which runs ospf now again ehrp can you can run on non cisco as well but let's say there, there is a possibility that you might be running some vendor specific uh, devices which only supports a specific protocol but whereas on the other sides you have a different uh, protocol because that supports a different uh, different vendor or a different routing protocol now other use case already i said the political boundaries where you might be having two different organizations and let's say the abc acquires this xyz so it's a small company acquired by the abc now again the xyz is using some different protocol like ospf and abc is using ehrp so when you are acquiring different company you don't really change everything you don't you don't want you still want the routing to work between them end to end communication should work so in that scenario so you have to go ahead and configure the routing protocol uh, with the redistribution here so these are some of the use cases as i said by default let's say the router 1 is running rap these routes will go to the router 2 which is my asbr and by default the router 2 is not going to send those routes back to router 3 now the reason the reason is simple uh, because the router 2 to 3 is running ehrp but i want to send those routes so we need to configure we need to go ahead and configure the redistribution so what is redistribution it's a process of exchanging the routing updates or the routing information between different routing protocols like like after doing the redistribution what will happen is your routes which are configured as rip it will go to the border router that is autonomous system border router as an rip route and on the router 2 i'm going to configure the redistribution which is going to convert or translate the routes into ehrp so the same 10 dot network or so the same subnets whatever learned through RIP will be converted into EHRP and send them as an EHRP. So here we are just translating the routes from one protocol to another protocol to ensure we do have an end-to-end -end communication because at the end you do run routing protocol to make sure that we do have an end-to-end -end communication process. So to have end-to-end -end communication either use the same routing protocol that's one simple solution and if I'm running different routing protocols then make sure that you do redistribution so we'll try to see uh, some of the routes now here there are uh, two types of routes you will see we have something called internal routes now internal routes means let's say this is my redistribution we got this 10 dot network and this 10 dot network is being advertised as an rip so it's an internal route so when this route is getting converted into ehrp so it's going to be referred as an external route in ehrp so which basically means uh, let me take a simple uh, diagram here let's say we got 10 dot network 20 dot network and 30 dot network and we are running ehrp here and we got a different protocol here let's say uh, might be running ospf and we got some routers here so these routes will be advertised up to here as an EHRP. And then we got the border router. This is my autonomous system border router is going to convert or translate these routes into OSPF. So now here there are two types of OSPF routes. One is coming via redistribution. And whatever the routes coming via redistribution, we call them as external routes. So the external routes refers to the routes which are learned from a different routing protocol and redistributed into a different protocol. Whereas the normal routes, let's say we have a 40 dot subnet here, 50 dot subnet here, 60 dot subnet here. Now these are my local routes which are advertised in OSPF. Now these routes will be referred as my internal routes. So this concept again applicable for any protocol. So in any protocol, what if the product if the routes are learned from the same uh, routing domain means uh, same OSPF to OSPF or EHRP to EHRP, RIP to RIP. So from the same protocol, we call them as internal routes. And if the routes are learned from a different protocol, like in this case coming through our EHRP, and then redistributed into EHRP. So in simple redistributed routes are referred as external routes. So that's a kind of a terminology we use. We use a different terminology like internal versus external routes. 
Now, there are a couple of points we also need to understand while we do the configuration of a distribution. Like, like let's say now we decided that we will be doing the redistribution configuration. That's good. But the problem is the problem runs uh, with the metric values because the main issue is, let's say in this case, I'm going to translate the RAP routes and these routes will be translated to EHRP. So the metric of RAP is hop counts, whereas the metric of EHRP is cost. Again, bandwidth delay based on that, it will derive the cost. So if I say the cost of uh, 1500 here, then RAP will not understand. And if I say the, uh, the metric as hops phi, then EHRP is not going to understand because every protocol has their own metric values. Now, one of the, again, challenge or the problem you may face is the metric values. So the metric values will be an issue. So while we configure the redistribution, we also need to make sure that we change the metric values. So which means when I'm, whenever I'm converting the route from RAP, and I'm redistributing them into EHRP. So I have to also define the metric which EHRP understands. And when I'm redistributing EHRP routes into RAP, I have to also define the metric in terms of hops, which RAP understands. Now, similar way, if I'm redistributing RAP into OSPF, then I have to also manually define the metric values uh, has to be manually defined. Again, there are some default values as well but we have to manually define the metric values here. So basically while we are doing the configuration, again, we'll see this part as we get into the configuration, but just a quick uh, thing we need to understand is the metric values will differ in each and every protocol. So we need to manually also define what should be the metric values used based on the destination protocol. Okay, so this is a quick overview of what you need to know about redistribution. But again, as we move on, we will be getting into some labs where we'll configure and verify the different protocol combinations.